More than 1.1 BN Invisible People Lack Identification Please subscribe and share videos More than 1.1 billion people worldwide officially don't exist, going about their daily lives without proof of identity. The issue leaves a significant fraction of the global population deprived of health and education services. Among these invisible people, many of whom live primarily in Africa and Asia, more than one-third are children susceptible to violence whose births have not been registered, the World Bank's Identification for Development ID4D, program recently warned. The problem is particularly acute in geographical areas whose residents face poverty, discrimination, epidemics or armed conflicts. Vijay Abhide Sahi, who manages the ID4D program, said the issue arises from a number of factors, but cited the distance between people and government services in developing areas as major. For populations near the Peruvian Amazon, for example, traveling to an administrative service can take some five days of transit by boat, according to Carolina Trivley, Peru's former development minister. Many families are also simply not informed about the importance of birth registration, and the consequences of non-registration, which can include the denial of basic rights and benefits, or an increased likelihood of marrying or entering into the labor force under age. And even if parents are aware of the need to declare a birth, costs can be crippling, said Anne-Sophie Lois, representative at the United Nations in Geneva and director of the Children's Aid Organization Plan International. As a result, Millions of children in Africa and Asia first encounter the administration only once they reach school age. But birth certificates are often needed to enroll in school or take national exams, Lois said. Deliberate concealment thus the political climate also discourages many families from allowing themselves to be officially identified. People fear to be identified from one ethnic group or from one nationality, said Trevely. The government has sometimes, sadly, preferences for some groups rather than another. And in many countries, births of children born out of wedlock or as a result of rape are sometimes deliberately concealed for fear of discrimination. In China, avoiding birth registration was also deliberate for years for fear of repercussions due to the one-child policy. Beyond being barred from attending school, these children can fall prey to violence ranging from forced labor for boys to early marriage for girls, denounced by UNICEF in a 2013 report. These children can also fall victim to human trafficking. The legal invisibility of unregistered children makes it more likely that their disappearance and exploitation will go unnoticed by authorities, Lois said. Protecting personal data dash to combat this immense problem, organizations are patiently working on the ground to identify these invisible people. Digital technologies have provided a tremendous boost, Lois said, as a way to increase registration, provide legal documentation of vital events and produce statistics that are complete and accurate. Trivley said it also helps that technology is getting lighter. You can go to the people with very small devices to gather biometric data on the ground. Plant International, which launched the campaign Every Child Counts in 2005, has contributed to the registration of more than 40 million children in 32 countries. The organization developed a digital strategy. Village leaders can download a mobile app capable of notifying the government of births and deaths in their villages. Digital birth registration systems not only provide children with a legal identity but also provides governments with a continuous source of information through the collection of data, Lois said. This allows them to plan effectively for all services that a child needs, including vaccination programs and education. The World Bank recognizes, however, that centralized identification systems could expose vulnerable groups to risks linked to misuse of their personal data. We are very cautious, Desai of ID4D emphasized. To have a legal framework in place that protects privacy and personal data is key. Final goodbye to Dumi Masala with TV Memorial. Please subscribe and share video fans of Rhythm City were left in tears on Wednesday when the shop paid a final tribute to actor Dumi Masala with a touching memorial service featuring his real-life mother and brother.
Dumi who played the role of Spizzle on Rhythm City died in hospital after being shot during an attempted hijacking in Tembiza on August 2. The on-screen memorial service came a week after Dumi's character made his last appearance on the show and featured touching tributes from several of the soapy's most popular characters. The show's producers revealed last month that Spizzle's exit would mirror Dumi's murder with one of the characters reporting his hijacking to others on the show. Fans of the soap added their voices to the tributes and morning scene on screen flooding social media with messages about Dumi. Zod Wawa Bantu is the new Scanda Queen. Please subscribe and share videos. Musician and TV personality Na Musi Mabina has passed on the baton of Scanda Queen to dancer Zod Wawa Bantu, insisting the entertainer is now the one who represents the people. Na Musi was given the title of Scanda Queen by her former boss Kay Dotto, to believe the star would make a massive impact in the industry, because people could relate to her and would take her as their queen. She carried the title for several years until her name became synonymous with the title. But speaking to Metro FM HTTP colon slash slash beta dot sub dot co dot za slash metro FM slash podcast slash the drive with Ma Flava and Massa Cobin Lovu as Ma Flava and Massa Cobin Lovu this week, Namuzi said that she wanted to leave the title behind and felt that Sadwa was the real people's celeb. I think that Sadwa Wabantu is the new Skanda Queen. Trust me, she is the real dust queen. She is hella poppin', Namuzi said. She explained that the movement she once led was dead, but felt like Zadwa was leading a new era that could be bigger and better. Zadwa's star has been on the rise ever since she appeared at the Durban July earlier this year in a revealing black dress and no underwear. She told She's Alive that despite the controversy the outfit caused, she was breaking stereotypes and becoming a role model to a lot of women who may have initially judged her. Now they look at me and think, actually Isadwa may be right. Why should I compromise on living my best life because of a man? Why can't I have a good time when I am working for my own money? Why must I stay in an abusive relationship when I am enough? So I'm loved by women. Most guys don't like me because they say I'm making women more aware of their freedom, she explained. Meteor Showers of the Year is coming tonight. Please subscribe and share videos. Debris from Halley's Comet will form one of the brightest meteor showers of the year in the early hours of Sunday 22 October. Called the Orion and Meteor Shower, the debris passes Earth from October to mid-November, but this year it's most visible tonight from 2 5 a.m. At Orionid's peak, 2030 meteors will be able to be seen each hour. The meteor shower is usually visible from all over the planet if weather conditions are right, and this year we're lucky enough to have a low-light moon that won't get in the way of the display. NASA recently published some advice on how to watch the meteor shower, as with observing any meteor shower. Get to a dark spot, get comfortable, bring blankets to stay warm, and let your eyes adjust to the dark sky. A cozy lounge chair makes for a great seat, as does simply lying on your back on a blanket, eyes scanning the whole sky. The Orionids are so named as they seem to originate, or radiate, from near the famous constellation Orion. However, they will appear to streak across the entire sky. The astronomy blog Astroblogger also warned that you should allow at least five minutes for your eyes to adjust in order to be able to properly scan the night sky. Check out this link if you want to find out the exact location of Orionids before tonight. KIZER Chiefs to keep getting better please subscribe and share videos KIZER Chiefs need to keep working on key aspects of their game keep improving and keep trying to get better striker Bernard Parker said ahead of Saturday's so white or derby against Orlando Pirates at FNB Stadium. Parker said Chiefs used the two and a half week FIFA international break to get themselves in far better shape than their poor league start had indicated where Amakazi won just two league games out of seven. The results were there to see as Chiefs managed the polished 2-1 upset of Mamlodi Sundowns with a makeshift defense and solid game plan on Tuesday night at Loftus Firstfield. Now the trick said Parker is for the Soweto Giants to show consistency. 
the strike admitted Chiefs had been under pressure from growing disgruntlement in the stands and questions asked by the media before the FIFA break which Amakasi entered on the back of a 0-0 draw against Golden Arrows then 2-1 defeat to Barocca. Oh yes there was really a lot of pressure. After our last game before we went to the FIFA break we worked a lot on what can work for us Parker said. And on the day, against sundowns from our last game it all really worked for us. We stuck together. And said that we were really going to remind ourselves regarding the principles and the philosophy and what we wanted to achieve. And it paid off for us. And not only for Kaiser Chiefs but also for South African football. You know we've got everything. We've got the flair, we've got the ability and we've got the tactical discipline. If we can keep the tactical discipline then it's the modern game now and that's what it takes. Don't get carried away. Keep the tactical discipline, stay focused, stick to the plan and then going forward we can free flow. We've got the skill, we've got the speed and we've also got the brains. And it's very tough now. The league has gone very tough. You don't know. You can't just walk into the field thinking that you're going to come out with a win. There are a lot of surprises too. We don't know what Pirates have prepared for us. It's now just for us to keep ourselves in a clear state of mind don't overthink and to do what we do. Do what's best and been working for us. And keep doing it until we've perfected it. A great example is Man City. They keep doing things they want to improve game by game challenging themselves as individuals and in all departments of the game. On the day I'm sure we can get better. Chiefs in fourth place meet a Pirates side in third who have not won in three matches.